Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator, and today we are going to create the simple salon designs. Check this out. Yes, it is a basic studio cut eye. So if someone didn't have the clue how to do, how to use the magnets, like what it is all about, what colors are best uh, to choose for a cut eye designs, that's exactly what we are going to do today. Let's start. So you can see some cut eye uh, gels there, 90 cut, uh, cut eye gels, and we are going to have the fun with them. I will show you the basics of it, like just so you can get hang of it, and then we will move on into the next tutorials, into the harder um, things. So I've got some purple tip in here for the reason, and say a pink cut eye, and I want to show you something. So if I apply the cut eye on the purple, it just doesn't look really nice. And then quickly I will paint the background on the black here. And I show you the difference. And I think this is really important. And then I show you cut eye on, on its own. So I have painted the black background. Also, by the way, I show you the black I use because I think it's amazing, like one coat and it's, wow, fab. So that's the upvoted 183 black ink and it's really amazing. And then the same cut eye effect on the clear base. Okay, so we've got clear base, we've got purple base and I will show you on the black base. And this one is on the black base. So you can already see straight away that it is actually the nicest on the black base. It's not as nice on the purple. I mean, it is nice on the purple as a color, like, and uh, it looks the worst on the clear. So we wouldn't use the cat eye on its own because it just doesn't look nice. Also, there is no effect on those nails uh, until we use the magnet. So again, I'm going to show you with the magnets and uh, we will start with this one. So that's the clear one. And I'm just having like a magnet, which I'm putting on top of it. And you can see it did create the line. So that's how the cut eyes effect gels work. They kind of, uh, pick up the bits and pieces of the metal with the magnet to create the design. And then the color of the gel polish in a cut eye is changing and the line is created as a different color as well. So you can see it on this one. And then I show you on the black. On the black, it is going to be the most visible. So this one creates the straight line and I can go at the angle or I can go straight. I quite like it at the angle. So you can see it looks the nicest on the black. I'm going to give it a cure because what else we can do it. So the first of all, for a cut eye effect, we are binning those two needles. We are not using on colors and we are not using on the clear. It just doesn't look nice. I'm not going to even cure it because it's not worth it. And uh, the black just works best. So I've got another black and I will show you another option. I will maybe pick up different color. Let's go for this one. So I'm just applying it on the new. Actually, we could use them on, on its own, like without of even the magnet, like it still looks pretty interesting. And then on the other side of this magnet, I've got rounded part, which is going to push uh, a cycle. And I'm just going to show you that. So you're just holding it until it creates the design. Okay, so we've got those kind of design. And I'm going to give it a cure. It's 
looks pretty nice. I show you another one and then I will have to paint more black tips so <laughs> to show you another ideas. So on this one again I will use different color. This one is nice. And then they are different type of magnets like some are giving flowers so each of them is different. I'm just putting the tip away. Another magnet and here will create us like a wee swirl and it's pretty nice so I'm just putting it and holding and you will be able to see what a beautiful swirl it creates. There we are. So nice swirl. And I'm going to give it a cure. And then it is cured, so let's pick up the rounded one. As you can see, we've got this uh, green color and I quite like, I show you, so that would be our basic, like it would be just to apply like one color, but what else we can do it? Uh, what else we can do it? Searching for a blue one. That's a green, that's a blue one, there we are. So I have some green and now I'm going to apply different color more blue, no, that's actually that's the same one, see, it's fine, eh, or not, no, this one is blue-ish, and then pick up the same shape of the magnet and go over it slightly different place. So, there we are, and we have created like the design with the green and with the blue. So this way it is more interesting and I'm going to give it a cure. There's lots of fun actually that you can do it with the cat eye and then on this one we've got the line this way and it's purple. So let's do maybe this blue. I've got too many of them now. That's the blue one. And I'm going to do the line in opposite direction. So we was holding the magnet like this before and now I'm just holding like this. And we have created another line. We could add kind of like much, many, many more of those lines like to make it even more interesting. And also we can do some ombre designs with the cat eyes as well and I will show you that. So this is really the kind of ideas for the persons which never used the cat eyes before. And the purple one. Let me see what I've got. I've got this one. And what is great with the cut eye, you don't have to worry too much about like making a perfect um, ombre fade because there is no need. And I show you also more advanced way. So um, I've got the magnet in here and now what I'm going to do is I will push the product on the each uh, corner to create more pigmented cut eye in the middle. So. I'm pushing here one side, look what is happening, like it's grabbing the product away. I'll push the other side. And push another side. And again, it's more time consuming, but it gives a really nice effect as well. So you can see. We can push it. And obviously the longer time we would spend, the nicer effect we can receive. So you can see it's really interesting. I'm going to give it a cure now. 
I also find it that if we do two layers of the cut eyes, it gives us the nicest look. So let me see what I've got in here. So this one we can top coat it like that's the. It looks absolutely fab. Like we've got green and we've got the blue one. I'm just going to put the top coat so I can get this tip away. And give it a cure. We've got this one here. Again, so that's just a two lines. It looks nice on a one line, but to make it, it even look more interesting. Or we could create even like um, two lines in the same angle, like you would have a purple first and then pink on the top, like both of them this way. That will look pretty nice too. In general, I think that it's lots of fun. And this one is absolutely beautiful. And I will do another color just to show you because the effect is very delicate. But I will show you another color what I meant. So we've got purple and now I'm going to apply the pink. And I was holding my magnet like right in the middle. So this time I'm not going to hold it right in the middle but I will hold it a little bit off -site. Hold it, hold it. Okay, so this way the effect is more visible. We have widened the line. And I can give it a cure. Basically, as many different ideas you've got in your head, as many different effects you can receive. But let's finish this one with the second layer. So the pink goes on the top and then the purple one goes on the bottom. And we are going to push it to the middle to get a really strong cut eye effect. You have to be very careful with the magnet so it doesn't catch in the places you don't want to. I'm just going at the angle. Okay, you can see it how strong the effect it is. And then give it a cure. So that's your basics with the cat eye designs and I hope you have really uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's nothing like too complicated but for the person which never have played with the cat eye before I think those basics are really important so later on you able to create uh, different kind of designs but even just like this I think it's like you know, like it doesn't take a big skill really to do those kind of designs and and they're pretty interesting on their own. So looks really nice. And I think um, for the, the best effect you've got also when you keep kind of moving it as well. So let me show you that where I can keep moving, where I can keep moving them. There we are. So it just shows all these different effects. Yeah, and very, very, very useful like for creating more complicated designs. So subscribe to this channel if you're new in here as we are going to have much more fun with the cat eye uh, creating different types of designs, hidden things and uh, 
just the designs with the cut eye as well so thanks guys for watching bye